Actually, I just recently moved to Australia, a country that connects me to the ocean in many ways. And in August, I did my first scuba dive in my entire life. So I was still freshly mesmerized by the colorful fish and the coral in the Pacific when the news crashed in. On August 24, the Japanese government started dumping radioactive contaminated wastewater from the wrecked Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean. So the horror of this news felt even more tangible as my mind was still full of the vivid imagery of the beautiful underwater world. Japan plans to release 1.3 million tons of radioactive contaminated wastewater into the ocean over the next decades. That's enough to fill at least 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Japan is sending its radioactive waste on a trip around the world. From the Pacific, it will reach beaches and seas globally entering fish, marine plants, other sea creatures and mammals throughout the marine food chain. Via evaporation through rainfall, it will find its way back onto the lands across our planet. The Japanese government insists the radioactive contaminated wastewater is safe, basing their claims on a recent safety review by the International Atomic Energy Agency, the EIAEA. But the report clearly shows that the IAEA bears no responsibility for any fallout from Japan's actions. Plus, Japan only handed over samples from three tanks for the review. Three tanks of more than 1,000 tanks. In the whole review, you cannot find one single clear statement that the proposed release of the Fukushima wastewater into the ocean is safe. This weekend, protesters are uniting in more than 14 cities across the globe, spanning Asia, Europe and the US. Together, we stand and march with them and we won't stop until Japan stops contaminating the ocean. Yeah. Oh